is um, the mo a model of a portion of Owen's um, design, and it was built flat. What this is is it goes onto it will mount onto uh, a blade, prosthetic blade like this, and um, and so it was modeled flat because he made these to cast them and ultimately it will take on the curvature of the blade when it's assembled. Um, and so <laughs> he asked if there was a way to bend things in fusion and I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't 100% know, but there was a little thing in sheet metal where you can add text to a curved surface. I wonder if we can try that. So check this out. I'm going to draw what would be the curve of this thing. Um, basically right on top of where this is. So I'm going to draw a straight line because I want this curve to be tangent to that straight line. And then I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to start a curve. And I'm going to lift this up a little bit more. And we'll say tangent, I want this to be tangent to that. I'll lift this up. Uh, and I'm going to make this So, in sheet metal, there's this thing called a flange. And a flange, you select, you select a curve, you give it a distance. We're just going to go to 0.5, and you give it a thickness. Uh, those aren't that critical for what I'm trying to do right now. Wait, 0.5, and then the thickness. Where's the thickness? Where is the thickness? Oh well, I don't see it. It's not important. So that tutorial that I found to add text is you need a flat spot for this thing. Whoops. That's a flange. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to extrude off that flange. You need a flat part. And then you say unroll. So in the sheet metal tools, there's this modify, unfold. And you click on the flat portion, and you make sure you click on unfold all bins and see it took that curve and it made it flat. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually grab the body, the track blade. body, I think, something, okay, I'm going to grab that and move it, and you can see it's, it's relationship with that, uh, that unrolled piece of sheet metal, and then I'm going to go to solid, and I'm going to say combine. I'm going to combine this and this and join them. Say OK. And now I'm going to say un or refold faces. Now this is actually going to take a second to calculate. But what it's going to do is it's going to take what that tread and it's going to bend it along that curve in just a minute. Maybe two minutes. I don't know where you could use this. You could almost use it with your butt. It's probably simpler, more simple just to draw it. We, we, were, we were not confident that this would work.
but it's a way to take some complex geometry and bend it, which is super cool. I don't know when I'm going to ever use this, but I will absolutely use it at some point. And, uh, and that's awesome. That's it. Do you guys have any questions about 